Hey everybody, you know uh, we stress at Motor Rage that a big part of the diagnostic process is gathering information. In other words, right early in the diagnostic process you want to learn all you can about the problem that you're troubleshooting, uh, the system that's involved in the problem, uh, maybe pattern failures, TSBs, anything and everything that you can dig up before you even open up your toolbox and pick up the first wrench. Saves you a lot of time in the long run. Of course, you got to be efficient when you're pulling that information together, don't you? Well, we heard about a platform that was going to be unveiled here at Apex called the Genesis Touch that does exactly that for you. Puts it all in one place and in the palm of your hands. But you know what? We couldn't wait for the unveil. We actually took a trip up to the Motor City to the OTC garage to check this tool in action. Uh, it's done in the shop. There's some shop noise behind there, so kind of forgive that in the audio track. But again, we couldn't wait. I'm sure you couldn't either. Come check out the Genesis Touch. This is Pete Meyer in Motor Age Magazine. I'm here in the Motor City at the OTC Garage with OTC's Jim. How you doing, Jim? Thanks Good. for coming out and, and, and uh, hanging out with me today. Uh, we're looking at a new diagnostic platform from OTC today. The Touch, right? yes. The Genesis Touch. I mean, if, and guys, if you're familiar with the Genesis, that's, that's been around a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of the features that you're familiar with from the Genesis are carried over the Touch, but there's a lot of a new ones too. A lot of features to make your life a lot more productive. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the key, isn't it, guys? It's hard enough to recuperate our diag time as it is. Mm -hmm. So if we can save some time, make yourselves more efficient in that process, then that's just going to make it easier for me to put some money in my pocket. Exactly. And, and Jim, I got to tell you, man, I spent 35 years under the hood, so I mean, that's what I'm looking for in a scan tool is mm -hmm. how's this going to help me make some money. Now, let's just start right for the bat. You know, we can take the, 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 the touch and we can connect it to the car like we would any other scan tool, direct it to the DLC. Right. Right. But this actually comes as a, as a package that includes one of these. That is our vehicle communication interface. It allows you to reflash modules. It connects via Bluetooth to the device, so you can plug that into the car, walk around, get underneath it, and all the time being able to pull diagnostic information from the vehicle without being tangled up in cords. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I can hook this up to the car. Mm -hmm. It's going to communicate wirelessly to the to the platform. Exactly. And I want to reiterate what you just mentioned, guys. This is also J twenty five thirty four dash one. Two, two and Euro 5 Correct. compatible, so if you need to do a flash, you can connect this via your PC directly or probably through the web browser right here based in the tool exactly. to the OEM website and download the software and carry out the reprogramming. Now, if you're doing that, you know how great a feature that is. If you're not doing it, well, Jim's a software specialist. He knows, just as we do, a lot of the uh, problems with cars today and not just drivability, right? No. Everything from AC to lights, um, remote entry, all software based, and there are updates. Sure. Any of the modules on the car exactly. could be impacted by that required programming. If you're sending that money out to the dealer now, that's a mistake, buddy. Keep that stuff in house, learn how to do it in house, and this is one way that you can add that, that service to your, to your list of offerings. Now, another feature when we were going over the tool earlier, Jim, I thought was pretty cool is that when we hook up to the car, and we start off new, we've got this new feature, Auto ID. What's that all about? Any vehicle that is CAN enabled and 2005 or newer, once you hit start new, it will auto detect the vehicle, pre-populate make, model, year, and you're ready to go. You don't have to manually enter that information. Older vehicles, you still have that option. We've tweaked the process to make it a lot easier. You can pull up uh, the make shows you the graphics of the different uh, OEs to make it easier. To pull yeah, out. I noticed that. That was pretty neat. You know, I mean, before you had your menu selections, little drop down. That mm -hmm. was that was okay. But now it, it's gotten even easier. The, the actual logo of the manufacturer is there. You, if, when you pick Chrysler, you know you're picking Chrysler uh, when you're doing just the manual ID enter. So that's a, a really neat feature. Now another thing that I thought was pretty cool about the tool. We're just going to kind of run through an example of it here. We've got a section called Diagnostic Information. And in this case, there's a lot of choices and populated with a lot of numbers. Mm -hmm. We all know about the features that Genesis is familiar with, one of them being Code Assist. Right. right. That's, the, that's the embedded mm -hmm. library, if you will, of known issues with a particular vehicle. But here it's already auto-populated, isn't it? It's auto-populated from resources, 
on the device as well as through the subscriptions that you have uh, ID Detect. And uh, th this information is based off of DTCs, uh, symptoms, uh, pattern failures, uh, priority repairs. So a whole bunch of information right in your hand so you don't have to go back to the shop PC to do your research. And you guys know how much time that can, that can absorb. I mean, first of all, we're starting off with a specific vehicle loaded than the tool, auto ID populated 2005, you know, later. Mm -hmm. um, and now everything that we already know about this specific vehicle is populated in the tool and at our fingertips. And I, that one thing I got to tell you caught my eye. Not only is it the embedded library, but if you have access to Identifix or ITN, the web built-in web browser is already logged your information onto that site. If you're, I mean, if you're a subscriber to Identifix, all you have to do is add your information, right? Right. Um, if you are not a member of Identifix, it comes with the what? Six months subscription. Uh, that way, you can see the value of the subscription and see how well it speeds up the repairs and diagnostics. Sure, and, and we've talked, you've, you've heard me preach, guys, it's all about gathering information, knowing what the picture's supposed to look like. Instead of having to uh, go from here to the desktop, to here to the desktop, logging in all these different resources, entering all the information on all these different websites, this has already done all that for you. Mm -hmm. um, so if we go and, and back out of here, and get a little more specific, you know, one of the things we, we talked about, we want to pull the codes, uh, just like the Genesis model, this will pull all the modules. All the mo modules right. at once. Right, and in this case, as, the, uh, as an example, we have a couple body codes mm -hmm. that we're dealing with. And if you'll notice, in, in, at the upper corner, you can see a little wrench symbol and a number. And that number tells us, tells us what, Jim? It gives you a list of known possible fixes for that trouble code. And that's embedded, that's the code assist yes. embedded in the tool. Yes. Right. So that gives you a starting point of mo the most likely causes of this uh, issue from other repair uh, shops that have reported back through uh, code assist. Yeah. So this is, ex as you guys like to call it, experience based yes. diagnostics. These, this is what other guys out in the field have been reporting in as, as what they found to be the mm -hmm. cause. Uh, so they're not guesses. You know, right. These have been the causes of the problem in the past, and they're ranked in order of the, the most common to the least common. Right. Okay. And that's not the only cool thing. I, I'm going to back out of that one more time. And if you come down to the bottom, or maybe I made a mistake there. It's actually down in here. Oh, yes, there we go. Play video. Where if there is a video for this particular procedure or issue, you can actually see a, a guided process of how to deal with the, the procedure, what the procedure entails, any parts of the software, any additional cabling, right. or things that you need. And it's a Windows Media Player, so if you want to jump ahead, go back and see what they did again, pause it to take a note, um, you can do that. Yeah, and these aren't hour-long tutorials. No. You know, these are, these again, experience-based, mm -hmm. made by OTC, you guys yes. here. Um, and, and it's embedded in the tool. It's a library in the tool to help walk you through not only the testing procedures, but what you're looking for exactly. in those tests to help guide you to the solution. And it'll point out when you get the results back from the test, what do they mean? Help determine what is a, a good result versus a bad result. It's like having an OTC trainer over your shoulder. Exactly. That's pretty awesome. And I'll tell you something else that caught my eye on that same screen. We talked a little bit about the, the link between Identifix and, and uh, IETN as a resource. Mm -hmm. Well, for the code that we're looking at, folks, there's it is, direct hit. There's 11 different hits on Identifix. We didn't have to log in and ask. Nope. The tool did it for us. All we have to do is, is open up that browser and take a look at, uh, at what kind of results we got, just as if you were doing it back at your desktop PC. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to stress though, fellas, these are resources. This is the gathering information phase of troubleshooting. These are not silver bullets. Okay, you may have the 331st car that had the same issue, but then again, you may not. You still need to take the time to test and verify rather than to just throw a part out and hope that fixes it. But the advantage to the Genesis Touch is it's now putting that right there in your hands. Exactly. Uh, you don't have to do any other searching. It's giving you all the resources you need in one place, right? Right. So we'll back back out to our home screen there.
And of course, a lot of the features that you that you have seen in other OTC tools, like the like the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is a Windows Seven Windows Seven tablet. It has a web browser, so if you need additional resources, you can actually go out and Google uh, uh, additional information. If you happen to have the, 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 the car that has the brand new issue that no one else has seen before. Sure. So, I mean, this puts it all right in the palm of your hand. Well, Jim, I mean, that's a lot of neat stuff in this new platform. I think this is going to be a very valuable resource for guys out there in the field. If we want to get information, guys, log on to www.otctools.com or check with your local OTC rep.